Hello people, this is Iron Man Fan 147 and I'm really, really sorry that I got any new videos up and I uh, just had to start on my computer like four times because of this dumb flashing thing that comes up Cam Studio. It's so annoying. Anyways, anyways, okay, back on track. I'm here to show you how to make a um, menu in Blender. So delete everything, okay? Everything. Everything. Everything in Blender. Delete it. Okay. Now hit space, add mesh, plane, and hit tab, and you should go into object mode. Space, add, and camera. You scroll down until you see camera. Then hold the blue arrow, which is on the Z axis, and hold control down and drag it up one unit so it just moves once. Or no, actually, let's do that twice. So it moves up twice. So then we see this. Oh, now we're looking down on some plane looking type deal. So, okay. Now you want to make these as close down as you can, these little extra thingies. And you're going to right click your um, plane, S, and then X, and size it. Everyone's computer is different, so I'm sizing mine to exactly where it hits the edges of my screen which my screen is 1,366 pixels wide by 768 pixels up and down. So, yeah, vertical. So mine's pretty wide. And don't forget to save this, but I'm not going to save it because it's, you know, just a tutorial. And I'll hit, and I'll go into this program called Paint, okay? It, it should be with every computer, Windows, um, computers, and then you you make your own menu, whatever you want. You can go, you can go onto Google and copy and paste images onto here, or I'll just draw something random. On uh, mine, you can make like stuff. It's kind of cool. Stuff like that. Okay. So say I just wanted to do thing like this. I don't know. And name. And, I don't know, just make it unique. Make your game unique, because if it's not unique, you get, like, everybody thinks you made their game, and that's not a good thing. So I'm going to put, hello, there. Alright, I'm going to save this as hello. Now make this whatever you want your game to be about, like, say the name of your game, you probably put that there. This is the menu, so when you start up the game, that's what it's going to look like. These are all my game textures for every single thing I've ever done. Every single one of them. Alright. And you want to name it... I'm just going to name it Hello because that's what it is. That's what I um, put on it. Which is going to look like this. Okay. So I'll minimize that. And then I'll right click this if you haven't already. The plane. I'll, I'll go in the middle here right where my mouse is. And I'll get to the double arrows. And I'll right click and then split area. And I'll bring it up here about halfway and change 3D view on the right side screen to UV image editor. And then go back, make sure it's over the left side of the screen. Then you hit F and A twice. That's just saying, I just like to do that to make sure that I have everything selected. And then go over here to image. You don't have to unwrap anything. And then open and wherever you saved it to. Mine is in my documents and game textures and then you just look for hello which is somewhere here which is right here and I'll open image and there we go it's over here on the right hand side side and then I'll hit zero and then enter and I'll right click this cube if it's not already centered and I'll hit R and rotate UV coordinates hit that once twice three times just to make it so it's in the line of the camera. Then you go over here and you right click in the middle of the screen, you know, right where the two screens connect, and then join areas so you have just one screen. So this is what you should end up with is this. And then you can go and then you can hit F again and then Alt Z if you haven't already. That just makes it look like this. Well that actually kinda looks better than what I thought it would look like. Anyways I'm just making sure this is still running because it hasn't been for a while. Alright, so I got this. And this is how you make the background of your thing. 
and now I'll hit add um, and text. Look down until you see text, and then backspace everything. Actually, get out of your camera view and kind of drag it up a little bit, and then you can write whatever you want. All right, so let's go with play. Hit enter options, and then hit enter again, and say maybe like exit. Yeah, I mean you can do like anything like free play and stuff. It's whatever your game is really. So let's size that down. Put it like right on the side here. And then hit Alt and C and convert font to a mesh. And it will I don't know if it on yours it will be upside down. But what you want to do on mine, if you have two point four nine B, that's what I'm using, I'll hit tab and then I'll select everything and then hit W and flip normals. So you see the white side up and then I don't know, give it any color you want. It doesn't matter. I'm going to make mine a black and make it shadeless so light doesn't affect it. Actually, make the background shadeless too. Just add any color and make it shadeless. Add the default color. So you should have something that looks like this. Now you're going to add mesh and plane. Now you can get creative on this. Like, say, like I'm making a Halo game right now. And I wanted to do that little sign, that little halo thing that you, they use for the O and stuff, the thing that doesn't look like an O. You can get creative with that part. What I'm making is, what I'm making now is just an arrow for this, like that. Simple little arrow, and then I might extrude it a little bit so it looks 3D-ish. And so now I have that, and I'm going to add a color. I'll just make that a black. I don't want to make that shadeless, but I'll move that over. And it should be on frame one, right down here. If it's not, it's on the display's current frame of animation change. So I click that, and it's one. And then hit I, location, rotation, scale. It should be like right in the middle somewhere. It's like lock, rot, and scale. This one right here. L O C R O T and scale. And then you want to go to frame 2 and bring it down until it's pointing at options location rotation scale then bring it down oh no change the frame to 3 and then bring it down to X and I location rotation scale so now you should have it when you go back to frame 1 it should be on play if you move it one more it's on options if you move it on another one it's on exit now you can do this it doesn't matter how many um, ones you have like say you have free play options play exit um, credits, stuff like that. You can do all that as long as you have more frames. Okay, so now I'm gonna go into the logic while I have on my my little arrow thing selected. I'm gonna bring this up so I can see it better. That's a little too much. All right. So I'm gonna add, add, and add. And at motion, I'm going to change motion to prop, no IPO, and change play to property. And over here where it says add a property, I'm going to add a property and change float to INT, and that stands for integer. So name the prop move. I don't know, just something random. You can name it up or high or whatever. And start it at 1. Change 0 to 1 over here. And then, well, actually, it doesn't matter. You can leave it at 0, it doesn't really matter. And then over here where it's over here where we started, change prop to move, because that's what we named the property over here then connect them all up minimize them like that the little arrows then add 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 and add add so you have two more adds for sensors controllers and actuators now change the first always to keyboard and change that to down arrow or whatever key you want as long as you want it to be associated where this thing will go down so I'm just using down arrow for the keyboard. And then minimize that, and then connect that one to this motion right here. And change motion to property. Change assign to add, and property move. Name the property move, because that's what this thing is. And then value hit 1. So now, when I press P, it should start up at play. And then I go down one, and it should go down. And I forgot to do something. On this thing that says hello, 
um, add a color to it, and then hit text face and add new over here. And that makes it so it will show up in the game. Okay, like that. Just hit down arrow once, it goes down from play to options. I hit it again, it goes to exit. Alright, so now I will click that again. That was just a test to see if it worked. Now I will do the exact opposite here on, on keyboard and down arrow, it will be up arrow, and I will connect them all and change motion to property, change of sign to add property, move, and value negative one. So this way when I press P, I should be able to go down one and up one. However, if I can keep on hitting the down arrow, but it takes me longer to get up because it's still here. I'll actually put this in. Uh, in. Oh, what is that called? It's called solid, I guess. So, and I'll hit the little D on this thing right here. So you can see, if you look up at the top left hand corner, you should see something capital O B and then plane. Zero zero one move equals one. If I go down one, it goes to two, three. But if I go down another one, it goes to four. And I hit uh, the up arrow, and it will still stay on exit. So I'm going to, and I, it works the other way. It's at negative nine, and I have to go down nine more before I can go to here. So what I'm going to do is I can change that so it will go back up to the top when it, um, when it hits the bottom. When I go below frame three, and it goes to four, it will go up to frame one. So okay. So I'm going to add, add, and add a new one for this little arrow thing and change always to property and leave equal there property move and value negative three and then I'll connect them all minimize them, connect them all so change um, motion to mm, or no wait sorry I, I messed up I'm very sorry um, over here where it says equal the first property, hit that, change that to 4, so then over here, change motion to property, add property, move, and value negative 3. Okay, now let's see if this works. So if I go down, it should take me back up to the top. As you can see, I can keep on going down. Click, 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 click. Click, 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 click. Okay, so it works. Now you're just going to do the opposite for the other way. So now, add, 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 and connect them all. And over here, under the sensors, you change always to property. And equal to property z... Or no. Um, property move. You're always going to want, in this property area, you're always going to put move. Because that's what this thing is. And that's what we named it. So value zero. So that way when it's below frame one, it will jump up three by changing the, the actuators to property and change the sign to add, property move, and add three. So now when I press P to play, it should go down fun like that, and it should go up continuously. And I can keep on pressing it and it won't and it won't go past frames one to three. Well, it will, but it automatically fixes itself. So this is the end of part one. Um, this is there's going to be part there's going to be two parts in this. So um, I hope you enjoy and watch part two because it's going to show you how to access different parts of your game. Like play will put you into your game, and exit will take you out, and options will do others. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye.